The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. So let's talk about the I-80 truck stop out in Iowa. <laughs> now listen, it's crazy, right? That, and this is my opinion, so don't come after me. All right. I know a lot of you new drivers, a lot of you new okay. drivers, y'all going to feel some kind of way about this statement that I'm about to say about the I-80 truck stop. But if you're like me and been driving out here for years and a lot of drivers that's in the same boat as I am, you guys going to feel the exact same way that I feel about the I-80 truck stop, the world's largest truck stop right so i seen a couple of tiktoks right people going in there for the first time they're like "Ooh, and this is the best place on earth and yada 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 let me stop you right there it is if it's your first time going then yes take in the aesthetic of it because if you've never been to a place like that then it's gonna get you it's gonna rush you especially when you walk through the doors you're gonna be amazed of all the lights and all the trucking gear that's in there all the, the two trucks the peter built that's in the back and and the other truck that lines the front you're gonna be in, in a maze don't get me wrong when i first went there my trainer took me there the first time i was amazed i was like oh man this is this is great i can't wait to come back again and again and again but let me tell you something right they also have what is called the trucker's jamboree right and the first time you go the first year that you go there you're gonna be in a maze in amazement it's gonna be great because it's something that you've never seen before a gathering of truck drivers that's all mingling you got all the vendors that's there that you never seen before and you're mingling with them all of the old school trucks that be lined up in the parking lot you're gonna go there you're gonna take pictures and stuff like that you're gonna meet and greet with some people and you're gonna listen to some crappy music that's on a crappy stage yes look when you go there you're gonna be like man i had the best time of my life you come out you have a whole bunch of brochures you have a couple of souvenirs and stuff like that now don't get me wrong when i, I go there i, I want the t-shirt every time i go there every year i i definitely pick up a t-shirt because of the souvenir i like the t-shirt don't get me wrong i like the t-shirt but after you go the first time and maybe if you go a second time but i tell you if you go to third fourth fifth sixth, it's boring i kid you not it is boring it is painfully well i ain't gonna say painfully boring but it is boring the same trucks the same vendors and the same crappy entertainment that's all you're gonna see now maybe you just go there just if you go and do a 32 it gives you something to do because it's a weekend long festival but still if you've been there once you already seen everything and that's how i took it that's how i feel it, it's my opinion and i know it's an unpopular opinion everybody but that's how i feel because every time i seem to catch one of the festivals the truckers jamboree yeah i get out i mingle hey hi how you doing and i walk around to see what's new but there's nothing new because the same stuff that i seen years past it's the same stuff that I see this year. So it's really nothing to get excited about. <laughs> Except for the fact that it gives you something to do while you're on your 34. But, and especially if you've never been there before. And again, if you've never been there before, take it in. Take it in. Please do. But in my opinion, and this is only my opinion, and I know a lot of you guys is not going to like it, and I'm going to keep saying that. But the Iowa 80 truck stop is just overhyped. That's all. And it's more so overhyped by new drivers that never been there before. They get on these TikToks and be like, oh man, I made it to the world's largest truck stop, y'all. Look at me. Oh, look at the trucks. Look at the bright lights. Look at all. And, and yeah, yeah. And, and, and then they comment session fills up like, oh man, the Iowa 80 truck stop is the best truck stop in the world. No, it ain't. Obviously, you never been to other truck stops. 
Now, let, let me just say about the Iowa 80 truck stop. Now, hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider, okay? Y'all got two options. Well, one, but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more. And if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show if you haven't been there before and again like i said when you walk through the door you're going to get you you're going to get sensory overload so much trucks that you can handle so much lights that you can handle that's when you first walk through the door right now being that this is a truck stop, they have a multitude of showers, they have a chiropractor, and they have a DOT physical, and they have a trucker's lounge. Now, of course, if you are a driver that's that's been driving regional and only hit truck stops like Love's that don't have a trucker's lounge or a pilot that don't have a trucker's lounge, a flying J that only has like hard ass seats that you're waiting for a shower lounge or maybe you'll get lucky and get to one of those nice ta that do have a nice trucker's lounge a nice lounge area with a big screen tv that you can watch movies on but that's only far and few in between but when you get to the iowa 80 truck stop yes very much so they have all of the accommodations for the truck driver and i'm not going to cap they do everything that you could possibly need as a truck driver is there but i am going to say this much for the veteran truck drivers that know they know they know the iowa 80 truck stop is more of a tourist attraction than it is <laughs> granite parking when you come in and you get into that big ass parking lot parking 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 enough parking Parking when you get there. Yes, parking. May not be as much in the front, but definitely parking in the back. If you want to be by yourself, park in the back. Want to get away from all the noise? Park in the back. You don't want to be next to a reefer driver? Park in the back. Because there is parking. No matter what time you come in, morning, noon, night, overnight, there is plenty of parking. And I would give it that. I would give it that. There's a pilot down the street, and I believe there's a pilot across the street. But you don't want to park there. Trust me. You, you don't want to park there. You want to get fuel there because if you can only fuel at the pilots, then yeah, get the fuel. But definitely park over at the Iowa 80 truck stop. That's what you're going to do. There's a museum. I think same thing with the museum. It's a one and done. Well, that's in my opinion. I'm if you go there on a the regular, then there's no point because you already seen everything. But if you go there like every other year just to give yourself something to do on your 34 or something like that, then yeah, stop back into the museum, walk around, take a nostalgia look of how Iowa 80 came throughout the years. Bam, done, okay. But the truck stop itself, after you come out of the main store, then you go into the hallway and they got a little clothing session. Yeah. Anyway, moving on, they got the kitchen. Now, the kitchen, in my opinion, could use a major medical update. But the food is good. The pork chops, the, the mashed potatoes, and the corn, chef kits. They lay out, they, they lay it out. They do have a little buffet, $13, all you can eat. It's not a grand buffet, but it's enough for you to whet your appetite on. But the food there, I'm going to have to admit, it is good. Well, to me, again, like I said, this is all my opinion. I stop in there, grab something to eat, and move on. If I know I'm on the way out to Wisconsin, Iowa, or anywhere along that little strip, yeah, the Iowa 80 truck stop is the place that I'm going to stop at 
to get some food. I'm going to save my stomach until I get to the truck stop. Now, again, like I said, even though I said it's overhyped, there is a couple of things in there that that is OK. Again, the trucker's jamboree, if you there for a 34 for me it's boring but for if you there and it's your first time take it in but the food though the food in the kitchen yes yes now you leave the kitchen go right across the way you go up a couple of stairs and now you're in the main store and this is where i say iowa 80 trust stop is more of a tourist attraction than anything for truckers that's all they got it got t-shirts, a couple of picture spots in there with older truck uh, that's in the main store. But but yeah, they got a couple of restaurants. They got a DQ. They got something like a Starbucks. And I think they got a Burger King. I think. I don't know. But yeah, other than that, that's it. That's it. That's it. Go in there, grab your food, grab a t-shirt, grab a keychain, grab a mug or whatever. And that's it. And then you go back out to your truck and then you get on TikTok. And then you'd be like, yo, I just came out of the best place for truck drivers in the world. Are you gullible new TikTok trucker, you? <laughs> yeah, old school drivers already know about that. They've been there before the truck stop even got modernized. That's what Iowa 80, the aesthetic was about years ago. Don't get me wrong. It's not, I'm not saying it's a bad truck stop. It's a good one, especially if you're looking for parking. I give it that. But anything else for new drivers? Yeah, go there. Experience it. You got to experience it one time once you become a driver. Because like I said, my first time experience going there, it was sensory overload. It was like, woo-wee, man, gosh, jolly, golly, geez. And then I'd be like, oh, I got to come back. I got to come back. And then when you come back, you 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 you, you come back again. And, and then it just, and then the thing for it just kind of, Drindles down. And that's it. Oh, also, they do have a dentist in there for you truck drivers that got those mush mouths. They do have a dentist for you. But TikTok drivers, y'all, especially with the comment session, right? So I said in the comment session, I was like, somebody said, hey, you got to go and, and experience the world's greatest truck stop at least once. And I came back and I was like, Iowa 80. I said, Iowa 80 is so overrated. And that's just my opinion. I, I I did not disrespect anybody. I ain't say nothing bad about anybody or nothing like that. I just said, I just said that place is so over overrated. And it is. It is. Iowa 80 truck stop, in my opinion, is an overrated truck stop. Drivers, old school drivers and veteran drivers know. If they know, they know. And if they like me, they know but you come back in the comment and you go you go dentist movie theater chiropractors all you could ever need for truck stop supplies and upgrades but you're a broke company driver who don't get to enjoy all of that i am i'm a broke company driver that i don't get to enjoy all of that well let me let me let me correct you on two things number one yes you're right i am a company driver number two definitely not broke okay definitely not broke bro i don't know about you I, I don't know how you looking into my pockets but definitely not broke okay and number three yeah i i did get to enjoy iowa 80 i enjoy iowa 80 truck stop every time i go there to park i do get a souvenir which comes in the form of the t-shirt i never did say that i didn't enjoy the truck stop I never did say, don't go enjoy the truck stop. I just say that the truck stop is overrated. And for those drivers that know, they know. See, I don't know who you are and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna offend you or anything like that driver because we're all about positivity over here. But for one thing, I guess you wish I was broke. I guess you wish I was broke. But again, I'm going to say veteran truck drivers and truck drivers that know, they know where to get parts. They know where to get truck supplies at. And they know that the Iowa 80 truck stop is an overhyped, overpriced truck stop. And it's more so for a tourist attraction than anything else. <laughs>
Now, maybe you'll go in there, you'll buy a few things or something like that. You'll put your truck into the shop or something like that. Or if you need something for emergencies, then yes, the Iowa 80 truck stop can fit your fancy. But everything else, though, dentists, movie theaters, chiropractors, you you must not been to other truck stops, bro. There's a truck. There's the truck stop in Virginia that has that. I believe it's called the Big M. I think it's in Virginia. I don't know, but I've been there. I, I can't remember, but the Big M. They got a chiropractor. They got a big lounge in there with a television, food, restaurants. You must not been to Joplin. You must not been there, bro. Same thing. Even though I believe Iowa 80 owns them, but but still though, you you you. You what? You you wasn't there? I don't think they have a dentist there, but I I think they got everything that a truck driver needs for supplies and upgrades. There's plenty of truck stops that is way much better, a little bit more quieter, and the prices probably might be a little bit more better than the Iowa 80 truck stop, bro. But hey, that's your opinion, and I'll let you have it. But I can tell you one thing. You can call me a lot of things, but broke is not one of them, bruh. It's not one of them. So you might want to pocket watch somebody else. But but anyway, you stay cool. Be easy. But you got your opinion. I got mine. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for listening. And what's, hey, listen, what's your thoughts on the Iowa 80 truck stop, the world's largest truck stop? Now, I know your opinion is going to vary from mine, but I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Do you guys put a lot of validation in the Iowa 80 truck stop like this guy right here? Or or your old school driver that knows where you to get some parts or that that keeps up with their trucks and knows where to go to get truck supplies and all that you ever need for upgrades. Let me know in the comments below all right and on that note until next time everybody if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you would have none of y'all ship this video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver